This part we've got here is a checking fixture printed on our LCU magnet. We're going to reverse engineer this part today using the HX and laser scanning technology. Now that we've scanned the model, the next part of the process is to mesh the model together to make it a solid object. We can then use this in Geomagic to assign planes and align that to the world. Now that we're in Geomagic, I can use the Mesh Doctor to make sure there are no inaccuracies in the model. I'm going to do that now. Once I've got the model in, and go to Model, I start aligning planes. It's best fit for this. All I do now is select a plane, start drawing sections on here. I need to make sure that where I'm drawing are all on the same plane. Once I'm happy I've covered most of the part, I can apply this feature, which gives me a plane on the rear. I can then repeat the process on two other planes. The aim of this process is to get three planes, an X, a Y and a Z. I can then align this to the origin, so when I load these up in a slice of software, the model will be flat to the bed. So as you can see, I now have an X, a Y and a Z plane. I need to now tell the software which plane aligns to which axis. and I do this in the line to work. I select a plane, and another plane it matches up to, and create a pair. I repeat this for all three planes. Now that I've aligned each plane to the world, I can pull this model out of the software as an STL, and start printing straight away. So we've now washed and cured our part, and as you can see, it looks great. With the iScan HX, we were able to capture the whole of the model and recreate it using the LCU magnet. In the recreated model, we've even got some of the dents and scratches from the original part. Because we can reprint this model, we've actually been able to print it using hard black material, which means we can change the properties slightly. So this one's a lot lighter, which makes it easier for the end user. So there you have it. That's how you fully reverse engineer a part using the iScan HX and the photocentric magnet.